Mastering Lean Culture The organization's lean adoption is flying blind without a comprehensive overview of its training and development programs. When will we have a comprehensive overview of the training and development programs that are currently in place to support the ongoing adoption and integration of lean practices across the organization? A comprehensive overview of the training and development programs currently in place to support the ongoing adoption and integration of lean practices across the organization will be achieved through a phased approach. Phase 1, Current State Assessment, Weeks 1 to 4 Identify key stakeholders involved in lean training and development programs across the organization. Conduct a thorough assessment of existing training programs, including content, delivery methods, and evaluation criteria. Gather data on the current state of lean adoption, including the number of employees trained, departments involved, and the frequency of training sessions. Analyze existing data to identify gaps, inefficiencies, and areas for improvement in the current training programs. Phase 2, Program Evaluation and Rationalization, Weeks 5 to 8. Evaluate each training program against established lean principles and best practices, identifying strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats, SWOT analysis. Rationalize training programs to eliminate redundancy, duplication of effort, and inefficient use of resources. Categorize training programs into three tiers based on their alignment with organizational goals, impact on lean adoption, and underscore ROI underscore, return on investment. Tier 1, strategic programs with high impact and ROI, aligned with organizational goals. Tier 2, tactical programs with moderate impact and ROI, supporting departmental goals. Tier 3, operational programs with low impact and ROI, requiring revision or elimination. Phase 3, training program development and standardization, weeks 9 to 16. Develop a standardized training framework, incorporating best practices and lean principles, to ensure consistency across the organization. Design and develop new training programs or revise existing ones to address gaps identified in Phase 1 and align with organizational goals. Establish a centralized training repository, providing easy access to training materials, schedules, and resources. Develop a comprehensive communication plan to promote training programs, encouraging employee participation and engagement. Phase 4, Implementation and Rollout, Weeks 17 to 24. Implement the revised training programs, prioritizing Tier 1 strategic programs. Establish a training calendar, ensuring regular training sessions and workshops. Identify and train a network of lean champions and trainers, providing them with the necessary resources and support. Develop a recognition and reward system to motivate employees to participate in training programs and apply lean principles in their daily work. Phase 5, Ongoing Evaluation and Improvement, after Week 24. Establish a continuous improvement cycle, regularly reviewing and evaluating the effectiveness of training programs. Gather feedback from employees, supervisors, and department managers to identify areas for improvement and optimize training programs. Analyze metrics and KPIs, e.g., training participation rates, employee engagement, process efficiency, and productivity, to measure the impact of lean training programs on organizational performance. Refine and adapt the training framework to address emerging needs, ensuring the ongoing adoption and integration of lean practices across the organization. By the end of Phase 5, a comprehensive overview of the training and development programs will be achieved, providing a solid foundation for the ongoing adoption and integration of lean practices across the organization.